What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Ember series. And today we're going to talk about the testing. First of all, Ember has three types of testing: the unit test, the rendering test, and the application test. In the older version of the Ember, the rendering test, also known as an uh, integration test, and the application test is known as the acceptance test. So let's talk about this one by one. So what is the unit test? So unit tests check the correction of the individual methods and functions. So give it an input to see whether it returns the uh, correct output. And the unit tests can use a many, many places like the router, controller, service, helper, and also like Ember data related stuff like model, adapter, and serializer, and also some other util functions. And you might notice the, uh, the component is not in this scope. It, it, that is because the Glimmer component does not support the unit test. So if you want to test the component, you will need to use the rendering test, which check how a component looks and it behaves because it's going to have some template involved. Last but not least, the application or the symptom test. So this is a test which you can basically test everything. You can use the application test to verify user stories and features from user and perspective. For example, you have a user start at the landing page and go to the login page and login in and then back to the home page. All right, after we finish talking about the types, let's talk about the speed and also the value of the different type of the test. So uh, the speed is increased from the unit test to application test because unit test only tests the single functions or very small scope and it's really fast. Then the rendering tests have some template involved so the time start to increase if you're trying to write the rendering test. And the application test is very costly. It has to bootstrap your whole application and then just click around uh, going from different pages. So it takes a lot of time. But also the value that the different type of tests give to you is, is different. Because like the unit test only tests about a very small functionality and then the rendering test is like the whole component and the application test is the whole workflow. So which means the, uh, the application test brings more value to you as a developer because you want to make sure that a user can like log into your page successfully and like, or like do some text uh, properly. So let's get some hands-on experience on writing those tests. So we start with the unit test on the Ember service. If you use the Ember CLI to create the Ember service, it's going to create a unit test automatic for you. So for this example, we have the shopping cart service and then it's going to create the unit slash service slash shopping cart test for us. So let's go to this file. So you can see here, the Ember is using the Qt unit as a testing framework. And the way that the Ember manage all the testing is using the module. And using a setup test from the Ember Q unit a library to set up the testing lifecycle hook. And you can start writing an individual test within this module. Let's look at the default test that auto generated by the Ember. It's using the this.owner.lookup to get the instance of the service. And it's using a start.ok to verify this is true, which service is exist. So let's go to our service file and to see what kind of test we wanted to write. So here we have our item list and our add item method. So what are we trying to test in here is to assert that the initial state of the item list is empty. And after we add a valid uh, item, use the add item method, the item list will have the new item. So let's back to our test file and start with the name. Then inside the callback function, we should have the assert. So similar to the first line of this test, we need to get the service instance. And the first assertion we're trying to make in here is to make sure that the item list is empty. So let's do assert equal. So service dot item list dot length should equal to zero. And let's save it. So how do we see the test result? There is a command from the Ember called Ember test. It's gonna build our project in the testing environment. 
and also it's going to run in all the tests we have. So as you can see here, uh, we have a summary. We have uh, 18 tests, and 13 of them are passed, and 5 are failed. So you can see here we have our new test, which you see uh, the add item works under the unit service shopping cart. It is very hard for us to look for the specific failed test. So here we can use ember test dash dash server to open a browser to visualize all these tests, or we can just simply do ember test dash s. So normally it's going to open a new browser instance, but we can also open that in our browser like this. You can see we have a lot of failed tests. That is because we make some modification of our components and other things after those things have been created and those default tests was failed. But since we only focus on the shopping cart service test, we can filter in on the modules here. So we search for the shopping cart and then apply the filter. Then you can see all the tests was passed and we can uncheck the hide past the test to see all the tests in here. This one is the, it exists, it's this test and then add item works is this test. And then we can see the first assertion, it's passed. And the message here is okay, but this is not very clear to us. So what I'm trying to add here is to add a uh, message. It says the item list is empty. So after save it, the test will be automatically refreshed. And if we click on it, you can see the first assertion, which is item list is empty. So now let's add a second assertion. What are we trying to do here is to invoke the service dot add item. And then we give it an empty object in here. And then we do assert equal the service dot item list dot length is equal to one and save it. You can see the test still passed and the second assertion it's okay. Then let's add another message in here, which is the uh, item list size increase by one. So if you check the test result here, we have the item list is empty. And then after we add the item, the item list increased by one, which is super readable and clear. That's pretty much about this tutorial. Hit the like button if you like it. Subscribe if you want more. Don't forget to leave the comment to let me know what kind of things you want me to talk about using the Ember.js. In the next tutorial, I'm going to talk about the rendering test and the application test. See you next time. Peace.